This is our rapini. Rapini panini in under six minutes. Hi, welcome to A Chef Called Rhonda. I'm Rhonda and this is my kitchen. And these are Robbie's. Rockley Rob. And today you're going to learn how to make rapini panini. How to make the perfect panini using my grandmother's favorite tool in under six minutes. Grab your trusty wooden spoon and we'll all meet back in the kitchen to learn how to make rapini panini in under six minutes. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. I have our heat source on a low medium. I'm adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to our already warm skillet and we're going to wait until the oil turns a nice sheen before adding our three cloves of finely chopped garlic and a quarter teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes and a teaspoon of good quality sea salt. I'm going to allow that to render and turn a bit opaque. Then I'm going to add two anchovy fillets and I'm going to stir that into the garlic and oil uh, just until the anchovy dissolves. Next it's time to add our broccoli ravis or our rapini. Uh, and just a little footnote here, I did clip about a half inch off the end of the fresh rabies. Uh, the idea here is to leave it nice and whole, nice and bright, nice and chunky so that we can lay the rabies into our Italian bread neatly and compartmentalized. By doing it this way, we ensure that we distribute our rapini onto the Italian bread in an even fashion. Now I cover our rapini and allow it to wilt. It takes about a minute and a minute and a half and the way we identify the doneness of our rapini, it turns a bright green. After it turning a bright green, I will transfer it into our serving bowl and ready it for our panini making. And now it's time to grab our Italian bread and trim the both ends and discard. And I'm going to cut our Italian bread lengthwise as you can see here. Uh, I don't cut all the way through. You can if you'd like. But what I do recommend is hollowing out all of the pulp that is inside the Italian bread like so. And I do discard the pulp. It's time to take our provolone cheese and I'm just going to layer it right into the center, slice by slice, evenly, once again, top, sides, bottom and middle. And here we are. We have our provolone into our hollowed Italian bread. We have our rapini, we have our anchovies, and I have about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil that I'm going to work with uh, as we go along and fill our rapini panini. Uh, so first we'll start with the wilted rapini, or broccoli rabies, and I'm going to take a nice tong full of my rapini and I'm just going to layer it nice and even right across the top the provolone uh, and I'm going to do that top center and the bottom half and I'm going to stuff it almost as if I'm over stuffing we don't it. worry too much about over stuffing the panini because the panini is a sandwich that is known to be flattened during the baking process so all is good on that end. At this time we're going to add a Scalia anchovy fillet or fillets and these are soaked in olive oil with red pepper flakes and this just amps up the flavor. Okay we're done filling our panini now it's time to add a little bit of Italian seasoning right across the top a good quality seasoning of course and then I will grab my olive oil and I will massage the outer layer of the Italian bread with my hands. Uh, I'm using a Silpat line regular baking sheet. I put the panini or the Italian bread on top of that and I'm going to grab a, that uh, aluminum foil wrapped, yes it's a brick ladies and gentlemen. Grandma used a brick and she hand pressed with the brick. Yes that's the, that's the secret therein. And now I'll just massage uh, the outer layer of the Italian bread with the olive oil followed by an additional sprinkle of that Italian seasoning. The idea here is the olive oil really 
aids in crisping up the outer shell. Yes, it's true, the brick follows the panini inside the oven. Wonderfully, our brick works. So let's cut, a there we are. Can you see that? Our rapini panini. moment of truth. We're going to take a big bite out of our rapini panini. A six minute sensation. Mm. We get the saltiness from the anchovy, the crunchiness from the Italian bread being flattened with our bread flavor from that broccoli rub. I hope you enjoyed today's cooking show. Please, if you haven't subscribed to a Chef Called Rando, please consider doing so. It's always healthy, always delicious, and always fun. From my kitchen to yours. Bye! Chindan! Manja!